Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to brilliant.org slash scishow to learn how you can take your STEM skills to the next level this year. Finding love can be pretty tough sometimes, even for a human on the land. But imagine if you lived in the darkest depths of the deep sea. Down there, just finding another member of your species can be next to impossible. Which is why some creatures have evolved some interesting strategies to pin down a mate. For instance, allow me to tell you a deep sea shrimp love story. It begins with a sponge and two shrimp, and it ends in forever. The deep sea sponge in this story is called a Venus flower basket. And like other sponges, it is a sedentary animal that uses its external skeleton to filter food from the water around it. But this particular sponge almost seems like it's made of lace. Except, what looks like a delicate mesh is actually spiky pieces of glass-like silica called spicules. The sponge weaves these together to make its external skeleton. And as dainty as it looks, this structural design is actually super strong. In fact, it's what makes it possible for these sponges to withstand the extreme water pressure deep in the ocean. But that is not its only role. This intricate glass skeleton also serves as a home and a breeding ground for a pair of deep-sea shrimp in the family Spongicolidae. Once these two shrimp pair up, they find a sponge and they crawl through the glass mesh. Then they settle in. Researchers think they likely hang out here because passing food particles stick to the spicules so the shrimp can get a steady supply of food. It's a pretty great deal for the shrimp. But the symbiotic relationship works out well for the sponge, too. The hungry shrimp keep its spicules squeaky clean, and the sponge feeds on the shrimp's waste. The only catch is, as the shrimp grow bigger, they can't get out. They are trapped behind the sponge's mesh. Which sounds a little tragic, but it's actually a good thing for the shrimp. As they evolved over thousands of years, they lost features that would let them live independently. For example, their gills have shrunk because their sedentary lifestyle doesn't require as much oxygen as a free-swimming one. Their shells have also become less spiny since the sponge takes care of protecting them from predators. So it is now impossible for them to live anywhere but inside a sponge together. Eventually, the shrimp pair has babies, and these are small enough to squeeze out through the mesh and set off in search of a Venus flower basket sponge to call their own. Then, finally, the original pair will die, which will open that sponge up for new tenants to settle in and continue their symbiosis. As for how the shrimp find their homes? Well, scientists think the sponge's spicules actually transmit light from nearby bioluminescent creatures, so as young shrimp couples look for a new home, they are attracted to these glowing beacons in the dark. This unlikely relationship has made it possible for these shrimp to continue to survive in the deep sea. And for some humans, it also seems to have become a symbol of committed love. In Japan, the skeletons of these sponges are sometimes presented as wedding gifts. Because there's nothing like a deep-sea glass sponge shrimp prison to say, until death do us part. So a big part of research that sometimes gets overlooked is programming. It's not necessary for all science, but knowing your way around a code or two can come in handy. And if that's a skill you want to learn, you could try one of Brilliant's courses. For example, they have a course called Programming with Python, which teaches you one of the most common programming languages with brilliant trademark explanations, quizzes, and hands-on demos. Whether you're a scientist by trade or just think Python sounds fun, you can find it at brilliant.org slash scishow. And if you sign up with that link, you can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. 